What's up, man? Gonna make a quick video for this game real quick called Ylands or Islands, however you want to say it. I know a lot of people say Islands. I guess Y can be pronounced as Y, or Y can be pronounced as an I. Can't get that straight. It is in early access, so this game doesn't have everything yet. We'll kick it off from my little venture here. So I've already played a pretty big portion of this game. I wouldn't say a pretty big portion, but quite a bit. I've done a lot of building and things. But and there's still a lot more that I can do that I haven't done yet. There's a lot. So this is my little establishment, right? Uh, wasn't far from where I started. My starting area is like right over the hill over here. And then from there I like ran around the island. You basically start out with nothing. It's just like Minecraft. You have nothing. And then like, so I found this little establishment here uh, as I was exploring the island. The establishment had this bed, this chest, this little bench, and this stool. I built all these wicker baskets. Um, oops, wrong button. Access it. See, I got some stuff in there. But uh, as you can see, I got quite a bit of equipment. But uh, so yeah, it's a lot like Minecraft, but polygons instead of blocks. Pretty sweet. Uh, as you can see, there's like fruits here. So you got raspberries. They're, they're pretty abundant. So you have a lot of food to find right away when you start up the game. Some of the other stuff you can build. So the way this game works is there isn't necessarily recipe. I mean, there is recipes, but it's not like Minecraft where you have all the recipes or anything like that. You kind of have to gather materials and then like the recipes just kind of show up and you can make them. So you go in inventory here, boom, hit I, get your inventory. Oh, look at all my cool stuff. And like I said, a lot like Minecraft, I got my iron pick, uh, I got swords, bows, all kinds of axes, hammers, shovels, all kinds of cool stuff, right? All this stuff has a purpose. Oh, look at all this iron. That's right. I just got a ton of iron the other day. Found a huge iron vein. What you can do with the iron is when you can build a smelting furnace, you bring it over here. You go, I need, oh man, I got 759. Oh, that's crazy. All right, so you do that. You go over here to the inventory. And go to my coal basket. Got some sweet coal. And I feed it into the furnace. And then I got a... Uh, oh no, I need another piece of flint. So I died and I lost my flint. Dang it. Oh, that stinks. What is... It? As you can see, I kind of deforested this area. There used to be a lot of trees here. Here's some corn. Plant a little cornfield over... Uh, to the left of my little stuff. I never, I never finished my house. Never finished my house. Nah, I don't want to make this video too long for you because I know you're, you guys get uh, limited on time. Anyway, if I had flint, I could strike up that furnace and it would smelt that iron for me. As you can tell, I have a lot of iron. So there's that. And then right here, you got the kiln. So you can like go in here. You can make glass in here. You can make coal. You can make these crazy little jars that I don't use. And, oh, and brick all that kind of cool stuff right and then you have your blacksmithing forge and here you can look around you again it uses coal and fire and you can make all kinds of stuff you can make iron armor helmets weapons all kinds of stuff and so like it builds on top of stuff so you once you build this then you can build the uh little this thing what is this the foundry right foundry over here because in order to build a foundry, you need to be able to make one of these. Casting mold, along with other stuff. But yeah. And then you got your paper press. This is how you make maps. You make paper. As you can see, I made a ton of paper because I didn't know how maps worked. So, yeah. And you got to make a pencil in order to for your maps to work. You make a map, but then you got to have a pencil to draw on it. And as you can see, BAM! Open up map. There's my island I started on. Give it a second, it'll show. So you can see... This game is like Minecraft, but you sail a lot. The goal is to sail and discover other islands. So I discovered that island, sailed all over the place, discovered that island, discovered that island. I don't know if there's any more islands. I think that's all the ones I've found. So yeah, I haven't even, I did walk around my whole thing, but I didn't walk around it when I had a map, so it didn't save. Now, sailing, oh wait, horses. You can get horses in. There's horses on the island, right? I tamed this one. You feed it vegetables or berries and you can tame it. Let me see. I got a E whistle. 
whistle for my horse. Ah, there it is. Yeah. And then you can ride horses. Bam. Yeah. And you can make it walk. And then if you double tap W, you make it run. Oh, yeah. Look at me go. Boom. So horses are here. You ride around, speed things up. Super fun. There are... Um caves and stuff on this game but you gotta find them you can try and dig uh from digging though i haven't really run into any caves pretty sure you just have to find the caves and then you can utilize them there's like lost loot in the caves and there's a uh, crazy beast down there and my horse is following me right now but probably the thing that i think is coolest about this game is this as you can see i have a sweet pier here and a giant pirate ship. Yes. I built this thing and it took for I won't say it took forever, but it took it took some time. A lot of wood, a lot of trees. As I said, I deforested that area. And I deforested after I replanted it several times. But I finally built this pirate ship. And it's awesome. So after checking out some videos on YouTube. I saw better versions of pirate ships, so I'm trying to make a better, a cooler, more piratey pirate ship looking version, which is over here. We'll see how that turns out when it's done, but it looks pretty sweet so far. But we'll look at the one I got right now. So, this one took me a few days to build, but it is super sweet. So, you come here, around the corner here, I'm up here, go inside, bam! Check it out. Cannonballs. Cannons. Super awesome. Oh, excuse me. You can come over here. I got chests galore with all kinds of goodies in them. Okay, not that one. Yeah, there we go. We got some fur stuff. Oops, don't do that. Don't punch it. Yeah, but I got chests in here. The front, front of the ship. Four. Four, I believe. And then you come back here is the lower deck of the aft. I got a stove back here. I haven't filled it all. I haven't decided what I want to put back here yet. Still for debate. I got some cool little windows. Hey! Then, if we run back up here. Got the upper deck. Bam! Oh, fell. Fell again. We can do it, guys. I promise. Or I can look at the cannon. Jeez Louise. There we go. Boom! Alright, so I got four sails on this bad boy. And a pirate flag. If you look up here, I got the upper cabin area. Captain's cabin, if you will. I got a bed. Some sweet little cabinets around here to store stuff in. I got some books. They're pretty cool. Then I got this sweet, that was so loud, table. Haven't put anything on it yet. Maybe I put a map down on there or something. Some bowls and stuff. I got my lan lanterns. It's a pretty cool little cabin's bed area. Sorry. Windows all around. Looks pretty sweet. Close that door. Maybe not. There we go. And I'll show you how we sail. Put some lanterns on my boat because when it gets dark, it's pretty dark. So, take control of ship helm. My anchor's down. Fail. Run up here. Flip this little switch. Boom! Anchor's up. Get on the helm. I did find that if you leave your anchor up, your ship will float away. Very slowly, but it will float away. So you hit W once to go slow. W twice to make it go faster. Full mass. And we're off. Now, the cool thing about this game is you can look at the flag. You see the flag kind of indicates where the wind's blowing. So my ship will go forward regardless if the sails are down. But if you turn towards the wind, which I am failing to do right now at a miserable rate... Gotta get around this side of the uh, island here first. You see, the ship moves a pretty decent, decent rate. And it does depend on how many sails you have on it, I found out. Because originally I had three. And then I put that fourth one up front. And it moves up uh, uh, quite, quite a bit faster. Especially if you catch the wind. If you catch the wind, your ship really moves. Now the cool part about this is once you decide upon a direction, like 
Uh, turn it. Man, that wind just keeps changing on me. Oh, man. Don't beach. Don't beach. Uh, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Here we are. Once, oh, no. Oh, no. I can make it. Oh, such a wide turning radius. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Come on. We can do it. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Once we get off this little sandbar here. All right, here we go. We got the wind. Now we're now we're cruising, we're moving substantially faster, as you can tell. Maybe you can. I don't know. I'll show you here something here in a second. This is the other boat. Now, when you build these, you start off with the hull. Unfortunately, the ship hull doesn't have like a lower deck or anything. That's why you have to build it the way I built it. With it. with it, you have to build the lower deck actually, and then build the upper deck all with wooden stuff. All right, so the super cool thing about this is once we decide upon a direction, you pop off this here, boom, and it just goes. Now, of course, you have to be aware of where you're going because obviously you can run into land and sandbars and stuff. But I can come down here, say I get hungry. This is part of the reason I have a stove on board. I can do, uh, let's see, six. Fishing pole. Uh, I can fish off the side while I'm out at sea. Never run out of food. It's awesome and amazing. Bam! And these just, you know, I just hold down the mouse button and these things just keep popping out. Oh, no look that time. That's a bummer. Man, we were moving. We got that wind. Anyway, you see how that works. That's pretty cool. Um, and then when you're sailing around, so generally at night, I usually just sleep because you can't really see much. It's really hard to uh, decipher where you're going and stuff. But the map is real time, so you can do that and then open up your map. You can kind of see which direction you're heading. And the map will continue to unfold as you sail. So the way you look for these islands is, if it was day out, I'd show you. But you look for seagulls in the distance. And uh, that kind of gives you an indication that there's an island in that area. So basically you just sail around looking for seagulls. But there's also other cool stuff. Eventually you'll be able to build an underwater suit, or underwater mask, excuse me, so you can breathe underwater. I think there's also some potions and stuff you can learn how to make. An alchemy to breathe underwater. But there's like sharks down there and stuff. So you have to be pretty careful. I actually got killed by sharks a couple times. I thought I had my armor on, I got super super uh, crazy and thought I could take on the world with my sword it didn't end well for me and uh but the thing is, is you can find like shipwrecks and there'll be stuff like floating on top of the water like I found one of those books I had in that bookshelf I actually found one of those books sailing around it was just like floating on the water and they're really cool because you can um they're actually like legit books like they the one's like 80 pages long or something like that it's crazy you can and every page has stuff written on it it's nuts there's actually like real stories you can read i think i have a cookbook which actually like is legit a cookbook it's it's nuts but um let's turn around here because we're probably i don't want to sail away too far i'm not trying to make like a super long video or anything but yeah um Again, that's a, the only thing about it is is it's in early release, so the game's not done yet. And they still got a lot of stuff to add. Like they might add like missions and stuff like that. But uh, let's make sure I'm going in the right direction here, which I'm probably not. Which direction do I need to head? Yeah, I need to go almost directly east. Actually, a little bit southeast. Stop that. I keep hitting that daggum E button. Oh, as you can see, I'm starving. I'll feed myself here in a second. You don't have to worry about drinking water in this game. You do have to worry about eating, though. My compass is up over in the left 
top right hand corner so that's how I'm figuring out where which direction I keep doing that dadgummit um and then you got like cool weapons you got sword that sword pole arm a war hammer that's pretty sweet oh these pants I found in the water as well with that book let's access my inventory real quick see what I got for food Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to eat raw fish. Oh well. It doesn't hurt you to eat raw fish. At least yet. They might add that into the game later. I don't know. Chow down on this raw fish. There it says I'm not hungry anymore. Eat an extra one just for good measure. Uh, sailing back. Uh, other cool things is like they'll have like there's different intensities in storms so like sometimes you have a light rain other times there's like crazy storms I've been on it see it when those happen unfortunately I wish they had like bigger waves that kind of like affected the boat a little bit more I I mean I don't want them to tip my boat over and sink it or anything but I mean you can see my boat's rocking pretty good right now but the the ocean mechanics don't really change that much um when it comes to storms which I think would be pretty cool if they uh, did but um yeah man that's about it for this video anyway uh, when I get my little ship done I might I might show a video of that one kind of show you the differences between the two ships and everything which I think would be kind of cool I can't see anything so I really hope I don't run into this island because I'm moving pretty quick But, uh, let me know what you think, man. 